Hello, and welcome back. In the second episode of this 249 part series, we'll cover pretty much all the basics you need to know to use the Kanban system as a productive member of the MC Allegasia team. So when you first log into the system, you'll see this one project here. This is the main MC Allegasia project project, and is probably where you'll spend most of your time when you're on the Kanban. So we'll just click on it to get in, and we have these lovely columns here, which I'll go through now. So the to-do list is home to everything that is yet to be started. So if, if you wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat because you've remembered something you need to do, you can just whip out your phone, because Canboard works on mobile, and you can add the task here so we can work on it later. Uh, the in progress column contains all the tasks that you or someone else is currently working on and the done column contains all the tasks that are complete. The changes requested column contains any done tasks that need a few changes. If that was a bit confusing don't worry because I'll go through an example now. So all I need to do is pick a task and I can assign it to myself by clicking the assign to me button on this drop down and I'll also drag it across to the in progress tab so that everyone knows I'm working on it. Alright, now we need to jump in game and I'll just warp to need trees. Oh yeah, I see what they mean, this place is pretty barren. Alright, I'll add some trees. Alright, now that we're done and we can move this task into the done column. When the task is in there, it'll close itself automatically. So what happens when a task is done? Well, it appears here on this MCLGASIA project review project. So this is the one that I just completed here. What happens then is I will log into Minecraft and fly around to make sure everything is good to go and if it is I'll drag the task over here to the accepted column and you'll never hear about it again. If there is a problem I'll edit the task and put it in here with changes requested. And that means the task will appear back over here in the changes requested column for anyone to work on. I mentioned that you can create tasks when you wake up in the middle of the night with some thought or idea. So to do that, just click on the plus button in the column where you want to create the task and fill out these details. Uh, the title is the only necessary part. Anything you write in the description box will be uh, not visible from the main page, but you can click on the task to see it. Uh, if there's a relevant tag, you can add it. There should be a tag for pretty much every location, as well as uh, terraforming projects if they're not within a location. Or even if they are within a location, like a terraforming project at Orthiad, you could put in those tags. And then you click Save, and that'll appear down here on the bottom. Well, that's pretty much all the basics you need. Uh, I'll show you a few more things like subtasks and assigning tasks and writing comments and uploading attachments in the future.